So we pull up the parts diagram for the sump and the motor mechanism, and we're after this uh, drain pump 325. We see that this part number has been superseded by a new part number. Uh, luckily, Amazon has it in stock. All right, I skipped past a bunch of steps here that are easy enough for you to find uh, on YouTube about how to get your dishwasher out. Uh, but we're out, and what I do want to show you GE owners in detail is, you know, this this is uh, where your main controller sits. So if you remember our earlier troubleshooting videos, our 120 volt power enters here. Our control uh, circuits uh, headed up the door to the UI are here. So these are those pens we were testing for, for UI power. Um, so that's, that's that control board if you ever need to change that out. Um, this is pretty simple. Uh, this just basically unbolts right there with one screw and this thing pops loose and, and you can put a new one in. Uh, very easy to change those. So um, this is your recirculation pump. Uh, this is the sump. This is the diverter uh, right here. This sleeve right here wears out often on the GEs. And so these diverters are a pretty common replacement. You have to get under here and do. And then today's replacement is right here. Uh, this, this drain pump is gonna come off. And we've got this new drain pump right here that we're gonna put in. And uh, along the way, we're gonna check the sump to see if anything's stuck in there. Uh, but somewhere between this pump and this sump is, is where we think uh, those noises were originating. Okay, we've got our original pump removed here. And the uh, electrical fitting on the original pump is gonna be often a different size than your replacement pump. And they'll package this uh, pigtail uh, with your replacement pump. It's usually just in your accessory parts bag. So you'll make this connection to uh, the machine wiring. And that's going to convert from this connector on the OEM pump to this connector on the replacement pump. But simple enough. And then we're just going to rehang this. Uh, so it hangs on the support rod, makes a connection here to the sump, makes a connection here to the drain, and gets its control from this harness, and it's that simple. Okay, here we are mounted up with the replacement pump. So our pigtail is bringing power. Our drain line is, is reconnected right here using the existing pipe strap that was on it. Uh, we're hanging back on our hanger hook here. And then uh, the pipe strap that was on here from the factory is the type that you pop off with a screwdriver. It's one use. So there will be uh, new pipe straps uh, included in the package with the replacement pump. So put one of those on there. And we are hooked up and good to go. All right, so while I had this out, uh, I'm hitting the whole tub with power wash and just coming in here with a hand rag, right? And uh, just getting everything. I'm not gonna film all this, but uh, I'm just gonna do every nook and cranny on the dishwasher by hand and basically get the whole machine, sump, everything, just speaking span, like new while I'm here. <laughs> 